Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Adam over here at Gainesville Health and Fitness and today we wanted to take a few minutes to go over a couple of exercises to help you improve your pickleball game. Another exercise that I really like to throw in with all of my pickleball athletes is some version of a lat pullover. So that's gonna look something like this. For today, I'm using an elastic band, but you could also use a cable if you just set it up nice and high. For this exercise, I've got each hand in a handle and I'm gonna hinge over a little bit here so that my arms are starting up by my ears and I probably have a little bit of a stretch under here. From here, I'm gonna squeeze against that stretch, drawing my hands down towards my waist, coming back up nice, slow and controlled to my starting position and then repeat. With this one, we're working on being able to create strength up overhead as we draw down. So think as if you were reaching for a high hit. We're also strengthening that big latissimus muscle on our back, which is also gonna complement all of our rotational strength and stability, like some of the other exercises we did. Another thing I like to work in with a lot of my pickleball athletes is some exercises to increase the resiliency of certain joints, in this case, the ankle. So I don't know about you guys, I've certainly had a couple of little ankle tweaks when playing on the court. And most ankle sprints tend to happen when the foot turns in uh, like so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strengthen that position to increase the resiliency of that tissue and hopefully mitigate the likelihood of an injury. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of put my leg in a hold and I'm gonna take my opposite hand and turn this foot in to mimic that position. I'm gonna pull it as much as I can here so I might find a little bit of a stretch. And then incrementally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to turn my foot out against my hand. From here, I'm pushing out into that hand and I'm incrementally gonna increase how hard I'm pushing until I'm pushing as hard as I can or as hard as you're comfortable pushing. To start people off, I'll start by holding that contraction for about 10 seconds or we'll relax. As soon as you're ready to go, I'm gonna go right back into it for another 10 seconds. Usually I'll start my athletes off with two or three rounds of that. Then we'll rest, switch into the other side, potentially a second or third set, depending on that individual athlete. Once again, guys, my name's Adam over here at Gainesville Health and Fitness. Definitely try out some of these exercises in your next workout so you don't find yourself in a pickle during your next tournament.